Number 10. Right. Sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid were mixed, and then there was a temperature rise of 2.5 degrees. So what is the enthalpy change of this reaction per mole of sodium hydroxide? First of all, you can write out the equation just to make sense of it. Sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, we have salt and water. And then to find out the number of moles, we take the volume in terms of dm cube, 25 divided by 1000 multiplied by concentration. We will have this number of moles for sodium hydroxide. And it's the same for hydrochloric acid. Right, then we'll figure out what is the heat produced during the reaction. Now, the solution experiences an increase in temperature of 2.5 degrees. So heat absorbed by the solution is equal to mass of the solution multiplied by specific heat capacity of the solution. We estimate it to be the same as heat capacity of water, mass heat capacity multiplied by the change in temperature. So putting in the numbers, the mass is due to the volume. All right. Important to take note of is that the volume is actually 25 plus 25. The total volume is actually 50 cubic centimeter, not just 25. Total is 50. And we estimate that 50 cubic centimeter of a solution is equals to 50 grams. Same as the density of water. So the mass is 50 grams. Specific heat capacity, we refer to the data booklet, is list as 4.18. Change in temperature, 2.5 degrees. So this is the energy absorbed by the solution. Where did, where did this energy come from? It comes from the sodium hydroxide neutralizing the hydrochloric acid. So they ask enthalpy change per mole of NaOH. So change in energy is equal to whatever energy was produced was we assume as absorbed by the solution here. Right, this is the energy absorbed by the solution. This is energy produced by the sodium hydroxide. And they say per mole of sodium hydroxide, we use 0 0.0025 moles. So okay, we take this, divide by the number of moles of sodium hydroxide used. And remember to put a negative sign because it is exothermic reaction. Okay, we multiply everything out divide by 0 0.0025 we will get minus 209000 joules per mole of sodium hydroxide and if you were to change it to kilojoules okay, we divide by 1000 remove three of the zeros we get this is the energy produced per mole of sodium hydroxide and it's transferred to the solution. Number 11, which energy change corresponds to change of atomization of hydrogen? Now, atomization of hydrogen by definition is the energy used to form one mole of hydrogen atoms in a gas form. So in other words, okay, we will need to create, we will need to have one mole of hydrogen gas on the right side of the equation. So looking at our options, A, bond energy of a hydrogen covalent bond. For A, bond energy of hydrogen covalent bonds actually breaking up of one mole of covalent bonds and when we do that we actually get two moles of hydrogen atoms.
okay because bond energy is breaking off one mole of bonds and when we break one mole of bonds we get two atoms separated from each other so that's not what we want okay because we want one mole of hydrogen atoms form b half the bond energy so something similar to this okay, but we are taking half of it and when we break half a mole of covalent bonds we get one mole of hydrogen atoms okay which is actually what we want so half the bond energy is actually the same as atomization energy of hydrogen Twelve proper known molecular formula, and we have information on the combustion of hydrogen, carbon, and formation of proper known. So what we want to find out is actually using all this information, the enthalpy change of combustion of proper known. So you will be useful to write out the enthalpy change of combustion of proper known first and then we see how we can fit in all this info we have C 3H6O proper known oxygen carbon dioxide water and then we balance the equation 3 carbons 6 hydrogen we have 9 oxygen here 6 and 3 we need to have 9 here but be careful that there's actually 1 oxygen here already so we only need 8 over here right and then now we try to fit in the other information and see whether we can create a cycle enthalpy change of formation so we already have proper known here already we will try to form it and formation is from elements okay. we have carbon we need three carbons hydrogen it should be h2 hydrogen we have we need six and oxygen for proper known we only need one that's why although it's from o2 okay i have to halve it so this is the heat of formation of one mole of proper known minus two five four kilojoules. Right. And we see heat of combustion of hydrogen. When we combust one mole of hydrogen, we will get two eight six. We actually combust three moles of hydrogen here. So we have three multiply by 286 give us water so we use this information this information and then enthalpy change of combustion of carbon carbon when it combusts becomes carbon dioxide so we join these two together and we actually burn three moles so it's three times of 394 Right, so we have this info, this info, this info. There's one more arrow that we don't have, which is exactly what we wanted to find out. Okay, so now we can create an equation. The useful thing to remember is that those that are clockwise will be equal to those that are anti-clockwise. So the clockwise one will be minus 254 plus our unknown here I'll put as combustion of proper known okay this info and this info and then they will be equated to the anti-clockwise numbers 3 394 plus 3 minus 286 
and then finally when we tidy up all the equation okay, and we do our calculations carefully we will have minus one eight one seven eight six minus one seven eight six kilojoules per mole that is the heat of combustion of propanol all right so form the cycle right and then equate the clockwise to the anti-clockwise numbers.